everybody um, today is uh, Tuesday May 9th and I am gonna be doing my week 47 post-op R&Y gastric bypass follow-up so my highest weight was 228 pounds surgery weight was 217 point something pounds um, last week I was 139.6 pounds and this week I'm 134.2 pounds so I had a 5.4 pound loss for the week which is a total of 94 pound weight loss. I, I'm in shock and disbelief of, of how much I've lost. I'm actually, I was very shocked that I even had such a huge loss for this week because um, for the month of April, I actually had a one pound gain. Um, so this really caught me off guard. Um, so I was thinking back of through my week and trying to see what it was um I know that I've been working out before this past week I really didn't work out I think I only went two times um so sometimes I I I know that with um weight training sometimes the weight loss slows down but the inches really um drop so I think that's what I was kind of going through um but I also had I think it was Saturday I had so much restriction even um, like just anything with food was I, I felt so full that even thinking about eating was upsetting me uh, so I kind of had um, just fluids I think I had one actual meal and then the rest was just like I had um, protein, um, protein coffee, and water. So I think that might have been part of this huge weight loss. So um, yeah, so I, I'm just trying to think. And then yesterday I, <laughs> I had some lumpia and had dumping again. Um, I had been doing really good. I hadn't been dumping in such in a while. I was really being careful of my food but I thought I would be okay with it because I thought it I've eaten it before and it's homemade so it was just ground turkey with vegetables and it was wrapped in those um, spring rolls but it was fried so I think um, the 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 oil probably got to me but it was so bad I I ate it around let's say 5 30 it was as soon as I got home and then I had to go to sleep. I slept from maybe from like 6.30 to 10 o'clock at night. I was just sleeping and just didn't feel good. So maybe all of those things put together have created this 5.4 pound loss at almost 11 months out, which was a lot, I think. Um, other than that, really nothing else has changed. I've been eating the same. I... Um, yeah, nothing has changed, but uh, I was watching the new Jackie 33's video yesterday. I'm not sure when she uploaded it since I'm a little behind uh, watching people's videos, but it really made me think about my goals and the reason why I have certain goals, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about it, um, and maybe if I misunderstood what she was saying, I, I apologize, but I think... Um, what she was saying was that sometimes the goals that she set for herself were not as high maybe as other people because of fear of not being able to reach that goal and I started thinking about my personal goals and just the mental struggles that I've gone through in regards to the weight loss that I think I may be doing that. Um, I was really shocked that I'm even in less. My original goal was 150 pounds, and it maybe didn't seem like a lot to some people, but for me, I felt like I've had tried the weight loss so many times and had failed so many times that even thinking. I remember my surgeon saying that a normal weight for me would be 115 to 130 and thinking about that was 
like it felt ridiculous to me like it was not something I was going to be able to accomplish so I just I don't even think I even wanted to register that in my mind as a possibility so I gave myself the goal of 150 I wanted to be healthy and just live a more active lifestyle I don't think I even thought about sizes I didn't think about an actual scale number in the beginning so for me now to see that I'm 134 pounds I am only four pounds away from the highest range of my doctor's goal for me just blows my mind and it makes me think about just I don't know like maybe I was um, I don't know how you say it like cutting myself short or I don't know what the wording is Um, but just like I, I really I don't know I think I may need to reanalyze and think about all of my goals and in terms of like physical and weight loss um, and see whether I'm really challenging myself or not or if I'm just being complacent at where I'm at just because I never thought I would be at this size be- in the past so I feel like in like educational career goals and I've talked about this before and those things I have excelled in the past so I I don't have a problem with shooting high and working hard for it but when it comes to like my weight my physique how I look like I don't I think it's a problem for me because I don't challenge myself I don't push myself I know that there's things that I would like to improve and change But I feel like I don't have the drive for it or I'm afraid of trying really hard and not succeeding. So I don't know if other people have struggled with this. If you have, I'd love to hear um, your advice and how you were able to get through it. But I think for me right now, I know that there are things that I may be able to do better. I'm just lacking the motivation and I'm afraid of not being able to accomplish it um I don't know it's it's um that video really made me think a lot about my goals and why I set those goals is it because of fear of not being able to accomplish something bigger or just doubting myself I'm not sure and I don't I don't say any of this in a negative way because I'm very happy with where I'm at I know that I have Um, worked for where I'm at Um, I'm not perfect by all means Um, I have a lot of um, ups and downs you know I watch videos about I've been watching some of the 50 shades of maintenance videos and seeing people that are further out give their advice and you know I know they all talk about we have to stick to the basics and I really try and but sometimes I feel like I could do better. Um, I'm just not sure. Like, for example, one of the things I struggle with is um, I don't cook. I don't cook. I I eat out most of the time. Or I eat. I have foods at home that I can just, like, microwave. Or I can just, I put some toast in the oven and in the toaster oven and then I put guacamole on it and I'll make an egg I mean those are the things that I do and it's because of I don't know I guess it's my the amount of time that I'm out of the house or I'm just cooking for myself that is just I used to love cooking I know how to cook um but I just I'm I think that I got in this rut of not wanting to cook because I know I can't even eat it. I remember at first I would spend uh, lots of time preparing my meals and chopping up vegetables and cooking my meats and preparing it and then I would serve myself and then I would eat a third of the plate and I think I just, I felt like I was putting so much time into it and then I wasn't eating it so I stopped doing that so what I do I buy like the frozen vegetables and I microwave them portion them out I do buy like um, 
like chicken breast or different meats and some you know on the weekends when I'm home I will make that but most of the time I don't so I mean it, those are some things that maybe I can work on and improving and maybe it might help me reach goals I really have to think about what my goals are what I really want um, if I didn't have the fear of failure what would I want um, and at this point I don't know like I I really don't know so once I figure that out I think I can formulate a better plan as far as like do I want to start cooking more or do I just need to focus on being at the gym more consistently um, I love CrossFit it's very challenging um, but I think I'm gonna go back to the regular gym for a couple months one of them is because I'm gonna be um, taking a few days off work and just traveling and when I when I drive a lot like I get really tired and I don't want to go <laughs> so you know it's it's pretty pricey to be at CrossFit and for me not to go consistently it's not averaging a good cost for me so I think at least for this month and the following month um, we have a few family events that I'm going to be driving to I'm also going to WLSFA and taking a few days off work so I think these next couple months I'm just going to go to the gym but maybe I need to work on just being consistent like I have the desire to go I always I pack my bag every day but then something crazy happens at work or I start I get like caught up in all this paperwork and stuff that by the time I'm done like I just don't want to think about anything so once I get there I know that I have a good workout and I feel proud about it but I don't know there's a lot of things I need to work on but I think the biggest one is um, just looking at my goals and where I want to be and being um, very honest with myself about that and not letting my own fears hold me back so yeah um, I hope you're all having a good week if you've struggled with setting goals and you've been able to get past that let me know um, I don't know I'm, I'm it's just been one of those weeks where I've had to put a lot of things in perspective and just watching people's videos that are further out from me has helped me um, just start thinking about things differently uh, yeah also I think I'll talk about it in another video but just uh, I hope that I have never come across to anyone as trying to impose like my my rules on anyone or my beliefs about RNY versus VSG any of that um, I know some people have reached out to me and have asked and I give them my personal experience but that's all it is it's my personal experience um, everyone you guys have your doctors and your surgeons that are gonna recommend what's best for you uh, I can only tell you what I know but I hope that in that process that it's viewed more as a conversation and not as me trying to tell you what to do what you should do what you should be eating because we all know I'm the least qualified person to do that for anyone because I have my slip-ups I have my ups and downs so I think I just want to have a friendship where we can have a conversation about it and not offend anyone or not um, just because it works for me or because I chose to eat a certain way doesn't mean that you have to um, but yeah I guess I can talk about that a little bit more another time but I've had some moments where I've wondered if maybe I came across like I don't, I don't know anyway I'm just gonna end it here because I need to get my thoughts straight about that issue but um I'm very excited to go to WLSFA and meet everyone and see um, other YouTubers that I met during OH again. I'm just so excited to, I've been watching all of your progress and how you're doing, so I'm excited to see you again in person and share some more good memories together. So I'll see you all in a couple weeks. Bye!